So today we are going to fulfill the contract titled Test TD-12 Decoupler Splashdown at Kerbin. And while it seems like a straightforward contract, it has some caveats. So you have to perform the test by activating the part through the staging sequence when all the test conditions are met. So the test conditions are test the TD-12 decoupler in Kerbin, so basically uh, low altitude on Kerbin, uh, and then splash down. So you have to actually test the decoupler when it's splashed down. Um, you can't really do that if it's detached from the craft. So there's a special arrangement arrangement that you need in order to uh, achieve the uh, test uh, while splashed down. So what I've done here is I have a very simple spacecraft. It's basically a Mark 1 command pod with a Mark 16 parachute and two TD-12 decouplers. Uh, notice that um, one of the decouplers is oriented in the normal upward default orientation, but the other one is pointed downward. So what the arrows indicate is what will be detached. So when I take off and then detach this flea booster, this RT-5 flea, um, it will detach the booster, but not the decoupler. And so I'll go on my trajectory and then uh, shoot will open up, I'll splash down and then I can test the decoupler while it's splashed down, while the spacecraft splashed down, uh, thus fulfilling the contract. So, um, what I want to do is have enough fuel in the booster that I can um, do a turn and fly over the uh, edge of the beach, so that way I can land in the water, splash down. So I've put a thrust limiter on this flea because with so little weight, the uh, it takes off like really fast. And I've added some fuel. Uh, not I don't need the full complement of fuel because I don't really need to go very high altitude. I just need to, you know, make it over the beach. So I've uh, basically put everything together that's necessary to. Um, achieve this or fulfill this contract so let's launch okay we're at the launch pad so I'm going to turn my stability assistance system on go to full throttle and engage the booster okay so I've tilted, tilting, tilting strongly. Okay. All right, so now we're basically in a parabolic trajectory. And um, I will now uh, detach my RT-5 flea. Okay, so that's detached now. It's flying away. And now I'm going to orient myself retrograde so that I'm facing uh, downward, or that the bottom is facing downward, so that I can uh, then activate my parachute and slow down. So I'm just going to activate my chute right now and it will fully deploy it at about a thousand meters. And you can see in the distance there, about 1.8 kilometers, my um, RT-5 flea booster. Now, as I explained, you'll notice that this uh, bottom decoupler is not detached. It's still attached to my command pod, which is important for fulfilling the contract. Okay, so descending and that shoots fully opening now and I wanted to make it so that the booster does not collide with land that it that it splashes in the water so we'll see if that uh, if that happens
looks like it did. Okay, so it splashed down. And so now I am descending at a, a very leisurely 5.5 .5 meters per second. So I'm going to speed this up to x4 time. Time warp x4 until we get very close to the water. And now I'm back down to real time. Okay. So, um, splash down. And our contract, there's the two check marks, say Kerbin, and splash down, right? But notice how um, the mission itself has not been fulfilled. So what I, in order to fulfill the mission itself, I have to actually engage the decoupler while the spacecraft is splashed down. So I'm going to do that now. And there you go. It's been, contract's been fulfilled.